Hey what's up guys welcome back to a new video on the channel so as you probably noticed there haven't been a lot of videos coming up on the channel so the reason for this is that I moved to London uh, and I'll make a video on my apartment probably so that will come up on the channel uh, but yeah in this video we're going to cover how you can use structured data and schema markup on your VIX website in order to get a Google rich snippet uh, or just overall improve how your website is seen in Google uh, and how you can improve your specific website depending on your niche your industry or whatever you do just to improve how you're seen in Google. This is something that people have requested a lot in the comments, so I figured this is gonna be a good video to make on the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and if you do, please make sure to just like this video, comment if you have any questions, or if you want me to cover anything else, I'll make sure to make a video on that as well. Uh, but yeah, let's just get right into this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, so if you've been following this series, uh, this is our website we've been playing around with. Uh, just as beautiful as always you haven't changed uh, still looks very beautiful uh, so we have covered wedding photography where I showed you um, oh god <laughs> uh, yeah I showed you how to optimize a single page for a specific search term so let's say you're offering wedding photography in New York this is the term you want to rank for and I showed you how to make a page for it and if you missed that that uh, video as you can see this is beautiful so you don't want to miss that video it has a lot of valuable information in it uh, just make sure to click the link in the video description where you get all the videos about VIX SEO in a playlist so you can just walk through every step uh, not everything is might uh, be like interesting for you uh, but all of those videos have very valuable information even though some of them are ve very basic I definitely recommend you to check those out if you have a lot of questions on VIX SEO. Uh, today we're gonna uh, talk about how you can use schema markup for your VIX website you probably noticed it before if you go into menus and pages uh, you go to SEO and Google and you go to advanced SEO so right here you have structured data add a markup to this page so each uh, so search engines can display it as rich results um, you can also have your custom meta tags which uh, we don't not, not going to do in this video uh, but we are going to talk about your structured data how do you use structured data what is it good for structured data as it says right here uh, helps your website to display as a rich result. It doesn't mean that it's going to display as a rich result. It really depends if Google thinks that your website deserves to uh, show as a rich result or not. Uh, and just to show you what a rich result could be like, let's search for how to eat popcorn. Uh, so when I search for how to eat popcorn right here, you can see that this is a rich uh, snippet uh, or a rich result. Uh, this website, so wikihow, got all these slides of images up here. Uh, you also have a FAQ right here, which is uh, questions. So is it okay to eat popcorn? Uh, so these are these are rich results. Uh, what usually happens when you display as a rich result is usually that you don't actually get a lot of traffic from it. Uh, you can, but usually people get their answer pretty uh, quickly uh, and you don't even have to leave Google. So you still get your answer. You don't have to click through, uh, but this is definitely not the only kind of rich result. FAQ is just one of them. If I search for uh, pizza recipe, we are also gonna get a different search result uh, or rich snippet which definitely gonna drive a lot more traffic compared to a FAQ. Uh, you have probably Googled something how to before, you've seen your answer to your question and you haven't really visited the website, which makes it easier for you. It makes it harder for us who have websites and we want that traffic. We want people to experience our website. We spend so much time on making the website the content. People don't even visit our website. Uh, but right here we have recipes for pizzas and people tend to click on these because you can't see the recipe so recipes are definitely a lot better you still want to rank for these questions even though the click-through rate on a faq is pretty low it's still gonna be worth showing up in that rich result because your competitors are still gonna show up so you might as well make sure that you rank there instead of your 
actual uh, competitors. So for our wedding photography right here, uh, we want to use a structured data. So if we go to technicalseo.com, this is going to be linked below. You just click on the link and you'll come to this page right here. We can make it a lot easier for us to implement a Shima markup to our website instead of actually having to do it ourselves. So first of all, you want to make sure you pick uh, the right thing. So you could have an article. So if you are a news uh, website or if you have a blog on your website, it could be an event. So if you're hosting an event, this are gonna be the thing you wanna go for, FAQ, how to, job hosting, local business, organization, person, product, recipe, video, website. Uh, we are gonna go for the e e local business because we are a local wedding photography in New York. Our local business is gonna be, let's see if they have photography, professional service. Okay, I think professional service might be the best one to go for. Uh, so let's just go for professional service. Is there something else? So professional service is what we are gonna go for. This is gonna be the name of your business. So we're just gonna do wedding 101 image URL. So here can be anything you want to display. Uh, it can be your logo. It could be just a wedding photography image, anything you want right here. Uh, and there's that URL as well, the URL to your website, your phone number. So let's see what's the URL to our website. It's not published yet. Uh, so let's just do wix.com. Okay, our phone number. So let's my, say my number is 63133133133133. Okay, price range, let's say 100 to 200. It's gonna be our price range. Street, New York 101. City, New York. Uh, zip code, random. Street, New York. Okay, perfect. So we got our random street. So you obviously want to make sure you fill in uh, the correct information right here. Uh, so there's going to be the street, Bronx, New York, United States. It's going to be our SIP number. So let's put a SIP number right here, uh, like that. And New York is its own state. Good. Longitude, latitude, ah, we got it automatically, good. So we got your coordinates right there. Then you want to keep going and add your opening hours, if you have your opening hours or if you're open 24 seven. Social profiles, you're gonna do Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. Add those if you want to, it's gonna help you show up and make it easier for people to find the right place they want to go. And this is pretty much going to be our markup that we want to use. Uh, image URL, we don't have it. What we can do is actually go to, uh, we can do Vix image. And let's just take this right here. Let's copy this link, put it right there. Oh. I don't want the Google URL. I would prefer if I could get the actual URL for this. Please don't copyright strike me. All right, there we go. So let's put that image right there. ID URL we don't have. Okay, so this is gonna be our structured data. So what you wanna do is copy this code right here. Make sure you fill out all of this as much as possible. Uh, make sure you pick the right categories. Uh, you already know this by now. Uh, this is all fake information, so obviously this is not gonna work. What you can do is also validate your structured data by in, in Google. Uh, which they actually link to right here. So if we go to this one, uh, we don't have to that. So let's just see. So as you can see, there's nothing wrong, no warnings, uh, and it works great. Let's see if we can preview it. So this is how our our rich 
result is gonna look like. Obviously, what we would want right here is to put a wedding photography picture. We want our opening hours under here. We want probably uh, this to be a better company name. Wedding 101 doesn't look that great. Uh, but as you can see, this is how it's gonna look as a rich result. Um, yeah, and it works, so we made sure there was no errors in this one, which is great. So let's copy this one again. Let's hop over back to our beautiful page and post our structured data right into this section right here. So just paste it and there you go. You have your rich result, your structured data is fine. Just publish it, save it. And now it's up to Google if they're gonna show this or not. So it's not 100% that it's gonna show up in Google. But as long as you're ranking already organically in the search engine and your website has a lot of authority under that specific topic, it's definitely gonna help to show up with that specific uh, rich result. Uh, so if you have a lot of recipes on your website, Google is gonna tell that your website is very knowledgeable in the recipe niche. Uh, and that's how Google are gonna be able to tell if they actually should uh, show your website for those re recipes and actually show those rich results. But that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. If you have any questions still, make sure to comment it down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I try to reply to as many questions as possible. And if you want me to make a video on any specific topic, just comment it as well and I'll make a video on it. Uh, but that is gonna be it for this video and hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time.